This is the Birkinshaw family, and they have been living off-grid for 10 years. Are you guys still alive? Out in the bush, they hunt for their food, with all of the girls knowing their way around a gun. Each of the girls were 10 or 11 when they first made their kills. But some onlookers disagree with the lifestyle this family has chosen. Is the odd person who is negative. Got your first bear don't understand what we're doing here. There were times where people were very like aggressive. 12 gauge, I think I shot when I was 11. We don't even get to hunt anymore because the girls just, they do it all. This one was Rose's bear and she got this when our first two girls were three years old and five years old. <laughs> we had them out there in the field with us and she was trying to shoot the bear and I was trying to keep the kids quiet and <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just a good memory, I guess. I think our lifestyle has lots of risk in it. And for the kids, I think there's way more risk. Are you guys still alive? And I think that's good for them. We, we balance the mothering instinct to protect, but also like the encouragement to try things. To prove the gun is safe, we're gonna point the gun in a straight direction. We're gonna remove any ammo. If you're in a rural area, like every house has firearms. So we were intentional about teaching them gun safety from like the very beginning. Examine the door. And only at this point is it actually safe to look down the whole barrel and verify it's totally clear. And they were all shooting animals. I can shoot pretty much anything if it's close enough and it's not too far. Julia, hey, good shot. Well, my first time with the big gun was when I turned 10. 12 gauge, I think I shot when I was 11. Really, we don't even get to hunt anymore because the girls just, they do it all. <laughs> Let's go look at him. Who's the best shot? We all think we're the best shot. <laughs> we have always hunted our own red meat. <gasps> Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. <laughs> yes. As soon as you shoot it, it's like, well, how do we recover it? Saddle up the horses. <laughs> I picked your shot. <laughs> And then that turns into skinning and gutting, and then it turns into cutting and wrapping and preparing, and the girls are actually, they're all really good with it. Did you get them? I hope so. What would you say to someone who disagrees with young people learning to use dangerous equipment? I would get so philosophical with someone who took issue. We train the kids to operate equipment and operate a firearm just like an adult. And we get to assess the risk and feel when they're ready. So yeah, I invite that discussion. When we first moved out to this property, a lot of people questioned what we were doing. We started a blog and just would post pictures and videos and write things and it was meant for family and friends, but it soon grew. The majority of the comments are people who are encouraging, but there is the odd person who is negative, who I think don't understand what we're doing here. And, and some people are just downright threatening. Yeah. And and they just write horrific things. Yeah. And I, I, I think that's just what happens on the internet. For sure, as parents, you're like, uh-oh, have we, have we exposed yeah. our kids to something? And, and you know, I, I think if you're going to put stuff online, you, you're subject to that. We've been able to take control of our life. We don't have debt. We don't have mortgages. We, we kind of do school when it works for us. We haven't looked back. You know what? When you break out of the normal school kind of idea, like the sky's the limit. All of them hopefully are going to have babies. So Annie and Joyce are supposed to have babies in like four or five days. Do you ever worry that your children are missing out on things? Everyone in the world's got different opportunities and actually I think that our kids will be served really well by having unique experiences versus having the same experience as everyone else. They're really free to decide whether they enjoy drawing or if they enjoy riding horses or if they enjoy welding. It's not set to this is a girl and this is what you have to do and this is a boy and this is the types of things that you have to do. Living this type of lifestyle has really given them opportunity to really explore the things that they enjoy doing. How would you feel if uh, one of your girls moved into the city? I'm, I presume that the girls could end up not
just in a city, but around the world. We've traveled as a family and, you know, to experience different cultures. So we'll see. I swear, if one more camera person comes out here, girls, <laughs> on my signal. <laughs>